On today's show, we're going to be discussing a real American hero, a champion of equality, Susan B. Anthony. I tell you, I always get goosebumps talking about people who have advanced the American culture, the American society, and made this place a much better place to live in. I'm so grateful to be able to teach you about Susan B. Anthony. In 1820, Susan Brownell Anthony was born on February 15th in Adams, Massachusetts, the second of seven children. In 1845, the Anthony family moved to Rochester, New York. Their home became a meeting place for anti-slavery activists such as Frederick Douglass. An anti-slavery activist is also known as an abolitionist. In 1846, Susan B. Anthony began teaching for an annual salary of $110. In 1851, Susan traveled to Syracuse, New York, where she attended an anti-slavery convention. There, she met abolitionist William Lloyd Garrison and a lifelong friend, Elizabeth Cady Stanton. In 1868, Anthony began the publication of The Revolution. The Revolution was a newspaper that advocated for women's rights. In 1869, Anthony called for the first woman's suffrage convention in Washington, D.C. Anthony was arrested in 1872. She had voted on November 18th. She continued to lecture and attend conventions. The following year, in 1873, Anthony was tried and fined $100 with costs after the judge ordered the jury to find her guilty. Anthony refused to pay, but is not imprisoned, so she cannot appeal the verdict. In 1905, Anthony met with President Theodore Roosevelt in Washington, D.C. about submitting a suffrage amendment to Congress. Unfortunately, Susan B. Anthony died in 1906, but this isn't where the story ends. In 1920, the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution was passed. Women over the age of 21 were able to vote in the United States for the first time. The life of Susan B. Anthony was fueled by diligence and determination. She fought hard for equality. She thought that all people should be treated equally within the United States. How do we honor the life and legacy of Susan B. Anthony? In 1936, the United States published a stamp in honor of Susan. The United States minted a Susan B. Anthony dollar from 1979 to 1981. Men, their rights and nothing more. Women, their rights and nothing less. Thank you for your contributions to civil rights in the United States. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.